Hello, so I wanted to check in real quick. I am in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. So the claim to fame of uh, the Springs Resort where I am right now is that they have the world's deepest hot spring. You can't enter that hot spring, but they have the world's deepest hot spring. And then they have a bunch others out there. They're kind of clustered together. They're overlooking this river. And um, okay, let's see, where do we begin with this place? Uh, the room is a room, you know, the grounds are nothing particularly special. It's really all about the hot springs, which some of them aren't even functioning at the moment, but it's really all about the hot springs, right? It's kind of like a, a once in a lifetime or a pretty unique experience. And yeah, it's cool during the day, it's fine, but they offer day passes. So the reason I actually decided to stay in the hotel and not get an Airbnb somewhere else because the hotel was pricey, especially for what it offers, I really should have gone the day pass route is because guests have access to the springs 24 seven. So when the day passers go home at like 930, that's when they get kicked out. You know, I could still go out there at 10, 11, 12, one, and there's literally a handful of people out there. And it's really quite cool to experience the springs at night. So in that sense, I am glad. Uh, one thing to keep in mind if you're going to be traveling with your dog, even if it is a pet friendly hotel like this one, sometimes they're going to limit you to certain rooms and it's not going to be the nicest room, right? If they have like the dedicated pet room, it's going to have a bit of a dedicated pet smell to it. And the springs, they smell like hard boiled eggs as is. And then this room. So like the room is fine. It's okay. It's it's not worth the money, if I'm being honest. The room is fine. The grounds are okay. Um, I did get a bomb massage. Shout out to David. He was amazing. Oh my God. But it's really about the springs and, and the river and the view from the springs. And like I said, to have access to them at night is really what you're paying for here. Outside of that, it's a cute little town. They have like restaurants and bars. I do not recommend the Mexican place across the street. It did uh, did a number on my stomach and they were rude. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the name. I won't say the name, but uh, if you ever find yourself in the Springs Resort, do not go to the Mexican place. Outside of that, the town is super cute. People are friendly for the most part. I find that staff here tolerate you they tolerate you but to, you just get that vibe like hey this is my town you're in my town i'll i'll work with you to an extent but like don't be annoying it's really all about the springs and again the springs at night is is what i'm paying for here so that's pretty much it i just wanted to do kind of like a, a little mini video from here because it is kind of a unique experience and i wanted to splice in a lot of this footage and stuff so thank you for watching um we are moving on tomorrow to our next destination which i'm pretty excited about so we will check in from there next take care